How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys have a great and exceptional day. Let's get this down here a little bit. Alrighty. Well, it's that time of the week, family, where I love to highlight black-owned businesses, family. And this week, I have the distinct pleasure of talking about Tiara Yarnell, this great young lady you see here behind me, and um, her great restaurant known, that, that she owns in Mexico City, Mexico, known as Black CEO. Black Sea Cocina Soul Food Restaurant in Mexico City, Mexico. Now, Black Sea, that's black, and Cocina is kitchen in Spanish. I'm not as fluent in Spanish, but I can hold a reasonable conversation if I go to a Latin American country uh, to be able to get me food, water, shelter, police, help, emergencies, and, and something to eat, you know, money, the bare necessities, you know, medical treatment, the whole nine, all right. So Tiara, Tiara Darnell, who is originally from Mitchellville, Maryland, aka the DMV area, meaning that she is from my hometown because I'm from Northern Virginia, Woodbridge, Virginia, which is about 30 minutes south of Washington, D.C. Um, and if you don't know, the DMV area is Washington, D.C., um, which stands for D, the District of Columbia, Maryland, M, and V, Virginia. It's all connected. Uh, two states and a district are all connected with one another. Um, and they're all separated by bridges and whatnot and rivers. So anyways, if you don't know, if you're not from the DMV, you know, if, or if you've never been to the DMV area, or as they call it, the Beltway. But I digress. When it boils down to, um, to it, she has to get a lot of her seasoning imported to Mexico like Old Bay to make her great soul food in Mexico. According to the article that I read the other day, Mrs. Darnell stated that I've never owned um, a restaurant before so this is very new um, Old Bay has to come and play a part in this dream as well for the past six months she ha and her team have brought soul food classics to the Navarte neighborhood um, of or they would say um, Navarte because neighbor, uh, na um, neighborhood in um, Spanish means vecinos like I said I'm a little got a little fluency um, everything from fried chicken to cor cornbread, carrot cake, and to sweet tea. I'm getting hungry just talking about this. She does it all using recipes handed down from her parents who have deep roots in Washington, D.C., where Darnell still has a home in Prince George's County, Maryland, which is considered to be the richest, um, the, the richest county um, of black people um, in um, the United States of America. PG County, Prince George's County, Maryland. And I think this is great because you never ever truly hear about black foundational Americans, what they call foundational black Americans, FBAs, especially from the DMV area, opening up a soul food restaurant in other countries. People from all parts of the world, especially African and Caribbean countries, open up restaurants all the time in America and other Western civilization, other Western uh, civilization slash nations, however, but it's a rarity that you ever hear about black Americans with black American roots opening up a soul food black American restaurant in another country. You know, like if I, I went to Canada a couple of weeks ago and I didn't see, I, I went to a Nigerian restaurant for the first time. Great food, had goat soup, almost burned my, my tongue off. First time eating jollof rice, great experience, hands down. Okay, great, definitely will go back to what's called, if you're ever in Toronto, go to the African village. Okay, I will say that again. If you're ever in Toronto, Canada, go to a African Village. Um, I love going to mom and pop restaurants. My favorite restaurants are mom and pop restaurants. They they outshine and they outdo the chains any day. I don't care what country you're in, okay? So I'm just going to leave it at that. So if I ever go to Mexico City, which I doubt, but if I do, I'm going to check out Black Sea Cocina because to be able to taste some soul food in a Mexican country, a.k.a. a Latin American country, would be... Um, as they would say, perfecto, and, uh, meaning perfect, or as they would say after I eat it, estuvo delicioso, meaning that was good, all right? So I'm going to leave it at that. But as I digress. Like I said, when I'm, you know, when I'm passionate about something, I'm not, I'm not just reading off of a piece of paper. I'm going to get my perspective on it off the top of my head, all right? The article also stated that there, there were lots of learning curves in dealing with various food products, differences, uh, with corn, things like that are foundational to soul food as uh, we black Americans know it. Pretty, um, as Mrs. Uh, Darnell stated, um, pretty much every every recipe that's on the menu, these are all things that I she said I made with my mother. 
when she and her team first opened up the shop, for example, she found that there were some differences in the way that corn is used in Mexico cuisine compared to the way that they are utilized in the United States of America. This is a beautiful thing when you have opportunity to go to other countries. Uh, because most of the corn in Mexico goes through the uh, nixtamalization process that makes products like tortillas possible. Uh, Mrs. Darnell st stated and she says that she couldn't find a supply of regular cornmeal or grits and oh, I love grits um, and with crazy challenges Mrs. Darnell still found ways to prevail in the months since opening um, her food has been well received from both black Americans looking for a taste of home um, and Tilangos a nickname for um, dozens of me do uh, dozens of of Mexico City trying basically locals in Mexico City trying something new and one thing that um, I can say is that the fact that lots of black foundation Americans living abroad has been a growing thing for a long time now and it's a beautiful thing also lots of locals in Mexico City love the fact that they can try something new as well because obviously if you're if you if you're if you consider if you grew up in Mexico whether you're of Mexican descent or not you're used to eating Mexican food so if you have opportunity, especially in, I, be, I believe, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, Mexico City is the capital of Mexico. So there's a lot of international um, aspects of that because in any capital city of any country, you're going to have a lot of um, and foreign influence there, you know, to say the least. I'm, I'm sure the foundation of that specific country, not just Mexico, but any other country, is going to remain the most. However, um, there's going to be other influences that are going, other aspects that are going to influence that city because um a capital means business like a capital in the state of america like i'm from virginia so the capital of virginia is richmond there's going to be a lot of foreign influence from other states parts of the country and other parts of the world to make that city vi vibrant and um economically viable and prosperous all at the same time so that's just something to take into consideration but i think this is the great thing and that's why i really wanted to talk about this today i'm going to san francisco tomorrow so i'm knocking out a lot of my videos early right now so i will be for the outside of instagram i will be in my when it comes to larry's anything goes llc so i'll leave it at that but anyways i i, I commend anybody who's living abroad because i know that's be, that's just becoming a new norm heck i was talking to one of my elders um yesterday and he was telling me how um him and his wife are thinking about retiring in costa rica and i've talked i've made various videos about how many americans even in today's world, like I said, people who are, are old enough to be my parents know that live, you know, for the most part, they're not to be able to have a great retirement. You're not going to be able to do it in a Western country because it's too expensive. And if you can not, unless you're rich or a millionaire, most likely you have to live in some dusty, dingy, small town that nobody wants to live in in order for you to be able to survive off of your quote unquote pension, your quote unquote 401k, your investments and your savings. So that's why I behoove anybody. I've only been to one country as an adult, but I behoove anybody to look into other nations to see what's out there because the world is more international than you and I will ever know. And the world has changed more than you and I will ever know until we go and to see it for ourselves. Don't just listen to me. Go do, go do your homework. Go do the research. Go see it for yourself. The time is now. All right. Anyways. Also, lots of locals in Mexico love the fact that they can try something new. As I stated, the article stated that aside from bolstering her menu to include homemade mambo sauce, that's definitely a, a DC thing, mambo sauce. Um, Staple Darnell says she wants to continue um, bringing, bridging the gap between her community and the Mexicanos. Even the mural outside the establishment centers an Afro-Mexicana woman surrounded by collard greens hibiscus flowers and hummingbirds to showcase a fusion as you see right here so to showcase a fusion of mexican and afro icons for darnell it's symbolic of how each culture is now so different from it's not so different from each other uh, mexico city definitely feels like home she says i she stated i have a, a i have a really great community around me I have friends that are family at this point, and I just feel really connected here culturally, socially, and in a way that I just didn't um, in the United States of America, she stated. And I can understand that. And I love, and another reason why I love this article um, that I found, uh, this is like two days ago, 
It's because, like I said, our media in America and the Western civilization, they, you, nine times out of 10, when they're talking about a foreign country, it's always negative. It's always negative. And, it's, and because of that negativity, it's made people not want to visit that specific country. So that's why I employ everybody to sometimes now look now if you know that country's at war if you know Western troops on boots on the ground stay the heck out of that country until things simmer down but if you know it's a place that's safe and you're going there with a group like there's certain countries I'm not going to go to by myself I'm going to need to be a part of a group just in case something goes down it is what it is but I'm looking forward to the experience and I accept the challenge because I know that just me going to Toronto Canada has changed my perspective Traveling in general has changed my perspective. And that's why when I even talk to people that I went to high school with who don't travel, traveling for them is going two hours away from our hometown. I'm like, yeah, you and I, we're not the same family. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying that like, hey, I'm looking to look, I'm looking to, to um, broaden my perspective and broaden my horizons. The world is bigger than my backyard. Like I'm from the DMV. The world is bigger than the DMV. As far as I'm concerned, for me, the DMV is just a place, I, place that I collect a paycheck. The world is way much more bigger than that. But, you know, a lot of times it's not about the, the um, you know, as Swiss Beat says, the sky is not the limit, it's your view. And a lot of people's views are limited because, and a lot of times they're limited because of their perspectives. A lot of times they're limited because of their income. But I don't, I don't ever think the income should be an excuse because we live in an era where you can darn near look up everything online. Heck, YouTube is my best friend. So this certain parts of the world, aka Africa and the Caribbean, that I wanted to see, but I haven't done that yet. But I've been able to see it, especially during the pandemic, because I was we were at home more. I was able to see other parts of Nigeria, the nice parts of Nigeria, the nice parts of Ethiopia, the nice parts of South Africa, the nice parts of Mexico, the nice parts of Haiti, the nice parts of Sierra Leone. I, I mean, the list could go on and on, family. You know, all this stuff that the media is always negativity, negativity, negativity. This woman who's from the area that I come from is enjoying a new life in Mexico City. I remember making, I, I believe, a live video about all the expats who live in Mexico City. Expats meaning people who are from Western countries who um, they consider to be digital nomads because they make all their money online and they live in third world countries because the cost of living is so much cheaper compared to Western nations. The world is a different place. Get out there and take a bite out of it. I don't care how old you are, how many kids you have. Get out there and take a freaking bite out of it. Stop being basic. This Brady Bunch mindset crap in 2023 is dead. I don't care what anybody says. This limited mindset, boring lifestyle nonsense. I don't know how people do it. I, you know, because my personal opinion, I think that's how people become way more, way more suicidal. But I leave it at that. I digress. All right. I digress. Anyways. Okay. There we go. Don't forget to check out Larry's Anything Goes Online store. We sell a variety of products. Get your financial intelligence gear. We'll be able to go from there. Also, if you're a stock market investor, crypto investor, individual retirement account investor, don't forget to check out Weeple Stash, Acorns, Crypto.com. All those platforms, you'll be able to make some money moves. And hey, I get a little something from it. But part of the GS Partners, we not only have the opportunity to buy cryptos, but you have the opportunity to buy non fungible tokens and be able to give um you know when you refer others to do the same thing make some money moves off of that all at the same time so links in the description check it out and remember you can't get fired if you own a company this is darn no doesn't um ha have to worry about getting fired you know she owns the company and i implore you all to do your best to go out there and own something as well all right so as always say do the great deep things like share and subscribe have a great day make money moves are you gonna live bro like a fool take care